How long did you last? Personally, one day. <laughs> one day for me. I showed skin restraint for one day, and then I broke. Because they dropped <sighs> Boss Obsidian. Dude, as soon as this got, got leaked, I was just blown away by it. For some reason, this the design I was just taken back by. And you know me. I'm edgy e-girl to the core. All right? So this is just out of the norm for me to be into something like this. We're going to do a deep dive into this uh, character here, this skin. We're going to check out the shop. We're going to do a deep dive into the shop. In fact, I'm so excited about that. This is why you're probably wondering why you're watching this a little late. I'll show you five seconds of some of the gameplay I got, dude. Sheesh. You're going to be... Oh, my God. <laughs> this skin is so freaking cool. It's unbelievable, dude. And officially... Officially, Magneto's stairs now belong to Boss Obsidian. Magneto, sorry. You got to You got to give him up. Uh, this skin is just unbelievable. I can't say enough good things about it. I did a, I, I, the reason why I'm late to uploading this is I couldn't wait to play with the skin. So I had to do a, I had to play a couple games and I wanted to record, uh, some footage to, to show you. Um, so that's why we're a little late to, uh, uploading. Also, I have some exclusive footage of the physical Lego sets that are going to be released. The physical Fortnite Lego sets. Uh, my friend was down at the Comic-Con this last weekend, and I asked him to send me some footage because they had them on display. So we got that to look forward to in this episode. But before we dive deep into the Fortnite item shop, I have a favor to ask you. And uh, no, it is not money, but that's very loud. Sorry. You know what? That's why we just need to chill out with the Boss Obsidian. He keeps to himself, okay? The one thing I ask from you is not money, but is to use my supporter creator code, which is quantum camper. All one word. There you go. Hit search. Look for the green check mark. Hit cancel. Back out of it. Double check down here. One word, quantum camper. There you go. Every time you make a purchase in the shop, it gives me a little percent. It's very small, but it helps. And then with that money, I buy uh, V-Buck gift cards to give away. And we have that gift card, 5,000 V-Bucks. We're going to be giving that away uh, this week. So keep an eye out, keep an ear out. Uh, and then uh, drop me a like and subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know. What you're going to get in the shop. Are you going to continue showing skin restraint? Because I know everyone is tapped. Tapped. But. Sometimes. You know what? Maybe I'll just I have to like Uber on the weekend or something. <laughs> make up for, the, make for, up for uh, all this money I'm spending here. But uh, you know what? It's worth it. Because uh, I don't drink. I don't go out. You know put the party life behind me and now i just live the fortnite life bro that is what's up and look at this look at this is literally i mean obviously we know this is like a elden ring or elder scrolls or what what's the like the super hard game <laughs> that the dlc just came out and everyone's playing it you know what i'm talking about elder elden ring elder dark dark souls i bought dark souls one or two played it for like two hours and it was so freaking hard i sold it like my friend just i bought it for 20 bucks at gamestop ended up selling it i think for like 15 so on ebay so i mean whatever lost five bucks I, I gave it a shot. My friend, everyone just loves those games. I don't know. I can't get into them. It may, might be that they're too hard. I, you have to, you're, people who are into those games and love those games are built different. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a negative way. They're literally just different. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. Scarlet Serpent. Pretty 
freaking cool. Are they? Is she connected to uh, Boss Obsidian somehow? This is an older uh, Chapter 2 Season 3 skin. Let's check out the true rarity. On Look, I'm not even prepared, dude. I had two... I had one pretty big upset. I'll show you the footage and I'll show you me losing, uh, which is hard to do sometimes. Um, I should have... Pretty sure I should have won this match, and we'll we'll go into it. Um, but sometimes I just freeze. We gotta go. We gotta go into that. Um, Scarlet Serpent, last seen one hundred and thirty-five days ago. Whoa! What do you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I I dig it. I don't. I think I'm gonna pass. She's pretty cool, though. Oh, ghetto Lego. <laughs> I do like the ghetto Lego. But, you know, obviously the, the the true one is good. That's pretty cool, dude. I'm not going to lie. Pretty unique, actually. Right? This is a pretty unique uh, glider, right? Is this a reskin of something? I'm pretty sure this is like a unique, right? Let me know in the comments. Is this a reskin or is this like a pretty unique? I mean, obviously, you know, somewhat of a reskin, but the design is, uh, I think it's like true to this character. Pretty cool. Let's take one more quick look. Let's do a close up. Um, I like the face. The hair is cool too. I mean, this is a good skin, dude. I, I just there's there's another girl who's got my eye in here. I'll tell. I'll, we'll we'll, uh, we'll scroll. There she is, Nightbeam. Come on now. Come on now. You know this is my this is my this is my jam here. What's up, dude? I don't. L Oh, why is it why, why is it one piece of clothing it's a jumpsuit I don't like that I wish it was two articles of clothing there you go there's the Fortnite complaining voice for you um great skin I really like this blue and I was watching just the I mean the color scheme is perfect to me her vibe is so cool you get the uh Pink style here, dude. Like, look at this kind of kind of. I don't know what, what what would you call that glow. Is the word obsidian? Is that it? Uh this is a great skin. I may actually legitimately get this skin. I know, dude. I know. Whoa, hold on. Stormlight set. This almost is this a, a save the world skin? This almost kind of feels like that. You know what I mean? Uh, and then you got Flare here. Flare is cool, too. Let's see. Oh, what's on his shirt? That's actually pretty sick. That's a cool design, dude. Sometimes some of the shirts on the skins, I wish they like actually sold them as real shirts. There's one I've been thinking about uh, just making myself selling on the down low. I would never do that. But if you see it, it's not me. Um, no, that's okay. I know, I, I know I for sure turned the uh, license audio off. So what do you think about that? Some things aren't for me. So here's the thing about this one. I kind of like that movement, but I, I'm not super into the song, but I know some people love it, which is crazy. You know, so one thing where I'm just like, nah, nah, someone's like, finally, it's so bizarre. You know what I mean? That's why I, and I don't mean that in a negative way at all. Um, it's just, uh, it's really interesting for me to hear the way that people collect, you know, the, to hear the different ways that people play this game. So I got, these are really good. Uh, briefly touch on this again these are just super super customizable if you don't you got to pick you got to get at least one you can ch you can change this cell shading amount you can change to three different tops three different bottoms three different shoes 
Um, it's just, these are rad, dude. I bought uh, a Culture Club Commander. She's super cool. But somebody was saying in the comments they bought Studio Scout. And then I was like, ooh, I kind of like her too. But I can't. I can't do it. Especially if I'm going to get, uh, what's her name? Nightbeam. Still, still holding out on that one. Uh, Futurama is back. All right. I keep thinking about Bender, but I do hear that Bender is pay to lose. That uh, his, I can't remember. It's like OBM. I, or there's some term. Um, Chewy Chewbacca character has it. When you when you go to aim down the crosshairs, his hair gets in the way of your line of sight. It's literally, you can, like, if you're crouching, moving forward, and and aiming down down like the sniper or the uh, crossbow uh you literally cannot see if you do that exact movement move forward crouching go looking down the scope or looking down the crossbow um you literally cannot aim so it's called like obstructing something or other there's a few skins that do that i hear that bender does that so just be wary ah there was a skin recently somebody commented too I love Bender's backbling though. Why can't they just sell all backblings separately? Because you know what? They know half the people buy skins just for the backblings. Oh my gosh, look how funny that is. I want this so bad. I would, and this would look good. We, we've been talking about that in the comments of how the cell shaded, how they need more uh, cell shaded backblings. Uh, because, in my opinion, you can't intermingle the cell shaded skins with the non cell shaded uh accessories like it just looks weird like you can't rock a cell shaded skin with a normal back bling it just it's strange or even a pickaxe in my opinion uh so like with the deadpool like you can o i'm pretty much only using the stuff it c comes with or like one or two other like cell shaded back blings i have I tried a couple non cell shaded ones and it just looks funky to me, dude. Let me show you this uh, exclusive. Exclusive in the meaning, in the sense that it, like, it's my footage. <laughs> it's not open to the public. Other people obviously have most likely posted this. The, this is the uh, physical battle bus that uh, is going to be released. Let me turn the volume down. It's a little... Obviously, it's kind of loud because it was at Comic-Con. Let's just watch this through. Um, so cool. Look at the minifigs, dude. Look at me house goals there. We'll pause it in a second and look at... Do, do an uh, in-depth look at it. Dude. Like, they look so good. Look at that. Bro. So that one is, like... They're a little pricey. $39.99 for that one. Um, the burger right there, that's $14.99. That's going to be the cheapest one. But that one's $99.99. And then the battle bus is $99.99. Which is not actually a bad, it's not a bad deal. Like, I don't know if you, if you collect Lego at all. Like, they're expensive. Um, I mean, look how big the battle bus is. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minifigs. Okay. Plus some uh, accessories. Oh, look, they have the chug jugs there, too. Look at that. <laughs> um, I mean, this is a no-brainer. Definitely going to cop. Uh, so, yeah, look at Meow Skulls right there. <laughs> Dude. And, and Peely. Bro, come on. This is just a no-brainer. But... I, you know, I said, like, well, or they should offer a skin code with it if it's going to be that much. Um, that's what I tweeted. But someone was like, dude, $99.99 for nine minifigs and, like, a giant battle bus, especially with, like, a, like, that's pretty good, actually. I was like, all right. I just want to complain. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share this footage. This was displayed at in the Lego um, the Lego booth at uh, Comic Con over the weekend. So super super cool. I think I might actually just uh, post this as is. I mean, this is just. What do you guys think about this? For real? Are you gonna Are you gonna pick this up? 
These are going to be so collectible, it's not even funny. Every, I mean, the, the pre-orders sold out, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, these are going to go quick, dude. And every, all the, all the jerk resellers are going to, uh, be scooping them up, trying to resell them super high on eBay. So if you can get a hand, if you get your hands on it, please do. Uh, it's, I, I'm going to get it for sure. I'll, I'll for sure get, I'm for sure going to get the, uh, battle bus. No, no doubt. And then maybe the burger too. Uh, I think I could live without the llama and I can, I can live without Peely. Although Peely is really cool. Uh, Deadpool still here. He's going to be here until eight twelve. So you got time on this. These leave in a couple days, eight two. So if you've been, uh, a couple people commented, they got cuddle pool, Raven pool, great skins. Honestly, um, they do tend to come back. Oh, that back bling though. Sheesh. That's actually pretty dope, bro. Oh, is that like a bear trap? What is that? I like that. Um, what's cuddle pools back bling? Let's check that out. Oh, it's just like a little bow. Oh, so, you know, I mean, this is just, a, you know, staple uh it'll be back though i can't say enough good things about this though i accidentally deleted the good footage of me dropping in with this so i'm gonna have to re-record it but it i just i know 1500 is a lot but this bundle here is only 2000 so uh, and then and then the, the bangers are obviously dragon and then this is fun too it's a sick song and it looks funny with the, you know, everyone actually looks hilarious on it. So no matter who you're ro rolling and then you get the mallets and then this is kind of whatever, but you know, it chimichanga sets on fire. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. When does this leave? Bro, this, I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing on the, uh, I almost got complaining again. How are you guys doing on the quests, dude? I'm like, I gotta, I gotta really step it up. Uh, I got one more thing to do, and then I'll finish this one, and then I, got, I gotta open this one. This is a grind, bro. And uh, you have to have this done by the sixth. Yeah. So, you know, we need this. This obviously is, uh, that's a must have, dude. And by the way, keep in mind, this top row, even if you didn't buy the battle pass, or you didn't buy the mini battle, the mini pass, um, this top row is free. So if you do the quests, you get everything on this top row for free. Okay. So that's, uh, did they fix this yet? Yeah. So that's a, this back blink, this back blink is actually dope, dude. A lot of this free stuff is really good. So this, this back bling's free. And that also you get levels up. Okay. Um, this is free. Free art. I need that, actually. That's free. That's free, too. That's free, dude. How cool is that? So you don't have to buy the mini pass, just so you know. Oh, and then you get the guitar. So, you know. I don't know how many people actually know that. You don't have to buy the mini pass to get that. So, uh, 11. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to, because I re-upped on uh, V-Bucks, I'm going to go ahead and just finish off the uh, bundle here because it's only 300. This is so funny. Look at that. <laughs> uh, that's so dope. And then uh, this is pretty cool too. So, I can't wait to show you the uh, gameplay, dude. You know what? Somebody so okay. Let's talk about this. You know, people complain about um, the skins coming back constantly, um, and somebody just commented saying they they finally pulled the trigger on Avatar this time around. So I'm like, perfect. That's like. So I wanted to bring that up. Like, okay, let's look at the availability of Avatar, dude. Um. This was, why is it, let me see, hold on. Let's look at Toph. 
well, I don't know why it's only seen one day, but it, it, uh, they've been available so much. Oh, here we go. 32 occurrences. Um, because, oh, because it's always like in the bundle. So 32 occurrences, um, you know, 45, 80, 90. I mean, so, and then somebody finally pulled the trigger and got it. So that's what I'm saying is like, you know, people don't have the money right away for these skins all the time to buy. I don't, I, you know, I don't, I have to pick and choose. I know you do, you know, and there's, um, there's no shame in the game. You know, we're not millionaires. Uh, so like, it's good that they bring it back, you know, because you might've had to pick one thing over another uh, and then like the person that commented, they were like, Hey, you know what? I wanted to actually really watch the show and get into it and see if I really liked it before I pulled the trigger on the skins. And, uh, so they said they watched it all the way, you know, watched it. I think they said they watched it all the way through and then like totally fell in love with the show. And then they're like, okay, now next time it comes around, I'll get it. So that's what I'm saying. You know, this has been out for months, 32 occurrences. And finally somebody's picking it up. But somebody that watches this. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, I, I, I think it's rad. There's been skins I had, I, I saw five times. And then finally, I was like, you know what? Oh, I, the Champions Park Club, actually. I, w I was actually not anti, but I was just like, eh, the yellow's kind of weird. And then I saw it again, and then again, and then like literally the fourth day, I was kind of like, all right, actually, I'm, I'm kind of kind of vibing with it. And then I accidentally watched a uh, gameplay review of it. And I was like, oh, that's actually super clean in game for sure. And I picked it up. So I saw her five times. And then finally it clicked. So I never complained. Literally one of the best boosts in the game, if not the best. I actually highly, highly recommend this one. Uh, it's not new or anything, but I just wanted to talk about it. Uh, so that's about it. Let me show you some of this gameplay footage, dude. It, uh, oh, by the way, the drawing, or to enter the drawing for the 5,000 V-Buck giveaway this week, it will be on Wednesday. I will reveal on Wednesday, uh, what you have to do to enter in. So far, it's going to be a two-part question. I might even throw one, th another thing to uh to to make sure that you uh to to be able to enter into the drawing um this one's going to be a little bit harder it's not going to be just one question because there's a lot five thousand v bucks is a lot dude um and i want to make sure not just any joe schmo off the street wins it i want to make sure you win it the person that has made it this far into the video that watches every single episode comments as part of the community joins the conversation that's who i personally want to win but at the same time i do have to make it completely 100 percent fair so it's going to be more than just one question just to let you know now check this out boss obsidian i'm telling you this might be worth it to break uh skin restraint on just absolutely unbelievable skin let's let's show like here he is. This is my thing. Every time I get a new skin, I like go to the top of the statue. It's kind of like a little ritual I get. I do. Um, how cool are those stairs with him? Dude? So, oh, this is the. Watch this. This that might be the nastiest third party I've ever done. Like I low key feel bad about it. I just literally roll, I rolled up on it like, hold on, let's watch that again. He was fighting it out with Megalodon, and I'm I just swoop in literally right at the end. I take them out, and then I take Megalodon, Megalodon out. And I'm like, you know, thanks for your hard, I appreciate your hard work, buddy. You know, and then I get the uh, I get the <laughs> I I legitimately do kind of feel bad about that. That they may have, they may know. This might be their last game. And then shortly after, Karma almost struck me. 
because I was just chilling, reloading after that. And then, look, I, I get down. I, you can't see it. Oh, crap. You can't, you couldn't see it, but I got down to five health. My video is blocking, but uh, I'm down at, I'm, I'm at five health right here, which is crazy. And then I do get away, but, um, so this is what he looks like using the fists. So cool. Look at it. And something about him with the nitro feet look really cool too. Like look at him run with the nitro feet. Dude. So dope, bro. I just, I, I can't say enough cool things about this, this guy. What do you, I mean, 1400 too. I know there's no variance and there's no like, but okay, here's the pickaxe in action. It's, I don't, I don't have a pickaxe like this, like a big bulky medieval looking one. I almost wonder, was this supposed to come out last season? Would it kind of made more sense for it to come out during the, um, you know, Olympian season. But uh, regardless, oh yeah, I get like, so that's, I just kind of want to showcase a little bit of, like what it's like in action, you know? Also, by the way, uh, best doggo 83, definitely a lot. Um, so that's what it looks like using the shockwave. So this is, this was like kind of rough because I kind of feel like I should have won this. So this is like end game. Um, I'm playing on epic level graphics and I swear to God, it's harder to aim. It's harder to aim, even though like I hit that. So I hit him for 125 shields all the way down now. Um, it's harder to aim on epic graphics. I swear. That's why all the pros play on like performance mode, super low graphics. Now this is my problem. When it's end game and I'm super stressful, I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. Um, my heart rate is just through the roof. And right here, watch. Like, so I had already, I already binged him. Watch this. So I hit him right here. I hit him. Headshot. One sixteen to the to the dome okay so they're low they're low i am too but so i'm like all right i i, I gotta you know i'm trying to squeeze in a little bit of health i'm i'm at 50 i'm at 50 now okay now i'm at four but right here boom hit him hit him once so if i had just if I, at that point right there i'm freaking out my brain is just not functioning. I'm like struggling to switch. So basically what I should have done right there was switch guns and set it. But, and I just fumbled the bag, dude. I'm just brain dead. Just, uh, I need to reload. It's like, no, you do not need to reload. You need to switch guns. So if I had switched guns, I really think I would have won that. But when I'm being heavily contested like that, I just go completely numb skull, like just, durr, I can't function. So let me know in the comments, does that happen to you when you're like super contested like that? And, and dude, when I used to play controller, like it actually used to be a problem because I would be like, like, like shaking. It was, it was like hard to aim sometimes and like, hard to like push down on the, you know what I mean? And like, it, even though I still do get very stressed out and like my heart rate is like pounding and um, it's better on mouse and keyboard. I feel more in control. It's not as bad, but oh my gosh, I gotta like really hone in and be able to, sometimes, sometimes it's end game. I'll, I'll and, and then I like have a moment to myself and I'm not as contested, I'll be like this. I'll, I'll start doing breathing exercise because I have like, you know, hardcore anxiety sometimes. Um, and I, so I have like breathing exercises and stuff that I know how to do to calm myself down. And so I'll, I'll start doing those like, um, which are reserved for like panic attacks, but I'll, I'll just start going. <sighs> like heavy like hardcore like Wim Hof style breathing um and just really trying to like lower my 
heart rate is crazy, dude. Um, I almost, I almost wonder if do some of the pros take like, um, like anti-anxiety meds and stuff just to, uh, just, you know, or, or something to, so their like heart rate doesn't go through the roof. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I'm almost wondering, I almost want to hook up like a heart rate monitor. I heard somebody has done that before on their live stream. They hooked up like a heart rate monitor to their, uh, to their game. And it was like hitting like 150 at one point, like create, like, like to the point where it was like what it would be if you're running, like marathon running, you know, obviously your heart's beating super fast, but it was getting to that point when they're like on in game, you know? <laughs> so that's it. We got the Lego set to look forward to i'm telling you man this is uh, this is it says 2100 but it's actually 1400 for the uh for that and then also okay here's the cool thing let's say you're tapped maybe you have a little bit left dude the base skin is only 800 that's not bad the lego is really cool too like this is and let's talk about this real quick and then we'll, we'll wrap it up um it's not and in and, and this i'm and i'm going to turn this into a positive i know some might sound negative at first it's not very detailed like but i like that you know what i mean like i i've i've seen like you would expect like dings and in more detail on the armor um like here, I'll show you an example of a very detailed character. Jack Sparrow is extremely detailed. When you like, um, like, look, you can literally see like the, the, the patterns on the, on his shirt. You know what I mean? You can like literally tell what type of fabric that is. Like this is a, this is a very detailed skin. Like, it, just look at the belt. You know what I mean? The texture. Look at the hat. Look at the texture on the hat, dude. So, that amount of detail is, like, what they're capable of. And then you look at Obsidian. And... Uh, it doesn't have that exact same detail. I mean, obviously you see like little dings and stuff like that, but I like that. It, it's, it's a smooth, clean design. It, uh, it, and it feels like, it feels like OG. You know what I mean? It feels old school. It feels like, you know, this would be a character on a game in like 2012. You know what I mean? Like PS4 graphics. And I and, and I don't mean that in a slight. I mean like I I feel like that that was what they were kind of going for. Um, if that makes sense. I absolutely love this skin. I think it's one hundred percent worth it. I fully endorse it. And like I said, I get it, dude. Everyone's tapped right now because Deadpool, Wolverine, the shops has just been crazy, dude. Um, but for 800 just the base skin kind of worth it dude and then i mean the the uh this is really cool too the wrap is amazing actually um i just can't say enough good things about this dude let me know in the comments what do you think about it am i gushing maybe a little bit yeah look at this guy dude you saw the gameplay. You heard my review. What do you think? Are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? anything else in the shop? Um, that's about it for today. Please use my supported creator code, Quantum Camper, if you're going to get anything in the shop. It is free for you, and it helps me out. Support to uh, That's the free way you can support me. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.